What is going on guys and thank you so much for getting this far. You're doing a great job and I can guess that you will, if not already, see meaningful results. In this tutorial I want to talk about a situation where we have these two variables A and B and each of these variables has some value within, alright? And for some reason we have to swap between these two values. So, for example, at the beginning we have some box A with a value of 10 and a box B with a value of 20. And what we need to do is just to exchange the values within these boxes. So, if at first we had a value of 10 in box A and a value of 20 in box B, then after the exchange there will be a value of 20 in box A and a value of 10 in box B. Just as we can see it in this demonstration. And basically you can think of this situation of swapping between the values, the content of two different boxes, as just two boxes with some pairs of shoes. One box has men's shoes and the other box has women's shoes. So for example in box A we have 10 men's shoes and in box B we have 20 women's shoes. But it turns out that box A that should contain women's shoes basically contains men's shoes. And that's why we need to replace all the shoes from box A with all the shoes from box B, right? So what would be the trivial way that you would solve this kind of task? You can't just simply take and pour what is in one box into the second box and vice versa simultaneously. Because in this case there will be just a mix of all the shoes in every box and that's not what we want. What we want is probably to get another box and call this box temp. And this box will be used to assist in this exchanging process. So first of all we will take the value of box A which is 10 and just put it inside of box temp. Then we will take the value of 20, all the shoes from box B and put them inside of box A. And finally we will take all the shoes, all the value itself of 10 from box temp and put this value inside of box B. And now the exchanging process between these two boxes A and B, we can say that it's complete. So basically you can see that the value of 10 which was previously in box A is now at box B and the value of 20 which was at box B is now at box A. Alright, very well guys, that was kind of rough explanation using a real life situation. And now what I want us to do is to be more close to the programming world. I want us to write a simple code, a simple program that will use this swap thing in our programming language so that you will be able to take your skills even one step further. So I hope this topic is clear for you and that you are ready to move on to the next video for swap in your programming language. I'll see you there.